So I have not traveled since March of 2020. And uh, on the elevator today, I was going down to breakfast and I ran to another gentleman and he looks at me and he's like, whoa, suit. I haven't seen one of those in a real long time. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're right. I haven't worn one of these in a long time. And as I'm walking with them, I get to thinking, I'm like, I actually have not worn pants that required a belt <laughs> until today. So thank you for getting me out of the house. I appreciate it. Um, so let me talk a little bit about Foxit and who we are and what we do. First off, I'm Tim Jeffries. I'm sales director at Foxit Software. Um, and I focus primarily on some of our server-based solutions as well as our SDKs. Um, but Foxit overall, do I, do I control this thing? Can I move this forward or? Okay. Ah, there we go. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. So a little bit about Foxit. So we are a, a Silicon Valley based company. Um, our mission is really to develop market leading and innovative PDF solutions. Um, we help knowledge workers increase productivity and really our focus is, is doing more with documents. Right? We have a couple of different solutions that I'll touch on as we go through some of these slides. So our solutions have really helped customers, you know, create great PDFs, digitally signed documents, uh, convert and optimize documents to a normalized PDF file, um, really at an enterprise scale, and also incorporate PDF technology into their applications. Um, I'll dive into some examples. And, and first, let's talk about you know, just how some organizations have integrated PDF into their applications. So we license our technology to uh, third-party developers and device manufacturers, um, really for them to integrate into their products, you know, PDF viewing, editing, annotating, and really just working more with, with documents. Um, one of our largest customers is Google. Um, our technolo technology is incorporated into Chrome and Gmail. So if you've ever opened up a PDF in Gmail, you have experience working with Fox of technology. Um, another one is Amazon. Um, our technology is used there to really to display PDF files on the Kindle app. Um, and also Microsoft uses our technology to, to manage secure PDF documents in Microsoft inf information protection ecosystem. Um, and another one recently was uh, Rakuten. They're incorporated our technology into um, viewing PDFs in their e-readers. Um, these organizations, they all evaluated our, our tech and, and a number of other different solutions. And, and really one of the reasons that they chose us, this, the value of the technology and, and what it was able to drive for them. Um, so as you can see, you know, our technology, it's used by some of the largest organizations in the world, all the way down to some of the smallest startups out there. Um, and through our OEM partners, we've really been able to access billions of, of users of, of the techno technology. Um, so how can this help and how is this, this really relevant, right, um, for, for capture, right? And one of the things that I look at is how we can help organizations reduce everyday support calls, right? So a lot of times what we find is that organizations have a tough time being able to render PDFs quickly and accurately within applications. And we're able to help just optimize files for the web and just be able to display those PDFs and work with them a lot more quickly and, and easily. Um, the other thing that we help out with is really just standardizing all documents to a single type being PDF, right? One of the things that we've found and we've obviously discussed today during the pandemic is that a lot of organizations are receiving documents in wild different formats, right? Uh, some people may be applying for loans that may be taking pictures of items with a digital scanner on their phone, right? Others may be taking an actual picture with their phone. Some might be using a desktop scanner, right? So this creates a lot of different problems for people that are actually receiving this and a lot of exceptions. And we can help just reduce those exceptions by just normalizing the content onto a standard uh, document, which is PDF. Uh, it helps to streamline workflows and also just enables some other things within the, the ecosystem being really able to work more with PDFs within content management systems, right? Another thing that we've seen with the pandemic is that um, people are obviously working remotely. Uh, they need to download potentially documents, work with them, and then put them back in. And that creates some definite security issues. All right, so be able, being able to actually work within a content management system and be able to use PDF editor right there to do potentially redaction, to do um, just editing and annotation of files is very helpful. Um, 
Also, the other thing that we find is just being able to enhance AI and analytics tools. So there's been a lot of talk today about RPA. And we find that kind of with the format zoo that we've been talking about a little bit, um, that if you do not normalize the content, it can be a little bit difficult for to feed these engines and be able to work more closely with them. Um, and it's just also it makes it a lot easier to gain insights from different file formats like JPEG, TIFF, everything by able to convert these over to PDF. All right. You know, the next thing I, I want to talk about too is just our, our e-signing platform. Um, this is something that we released earlier this year. Um, and as we've all seen with remote work kind of exploding, the days of being able to kind of walk down a hallway and get signatures from different people are, are beyond us, right? So we found that this solution is definitely something that has been very helpful for a lot of our customers. Um, you can build out templates, you can very easily just drop files in and route them directly to people that need to sign them and very easily work with them. Um, it's a legally binding e-sign solution uh, to prepare and gather important signed documents. Um, like I said, very easy to just upload files, work with them, and, uh, and have the documents signed and worked with. Next thing I just wanted to talk a little bit about, too, that we've helped organizations with is just increasing document management efficiency. Right. Um, we offer some very scalable, robust solutions to help organizations improve efficiency when working with their PDF documents. Um, and again, how does this help? We've talked a little bit about the normalization of files to PDF. This can obviously speed up migrations and make it easier to work with a single document type. Uh, the other thing is that we found that it could definitely help to just improve the efficiency of remote workers. Right. A lot of times what we found was that bandwidth became an issue, not necessarily in metropolitan areas, but more so in rural areas where if people were trying to access very large documents, it's taking a tremendous amount of time for them to access those documents and work with those files. So we're able to optimize those files, get them down to about half the size, if not smaller than that, to limit the amount of time that it takes to actually access those files and work with them. Um, and the other thing too, is we're also able to help reduce and cut down cloud storage and egress costs, right? Um, just by limiting file sizes that are being stored in final repositories. So just a little bit more about Foxit. Um, we are the world's number two PDF solutions provider, right? We have over 425,000 customers um, from small to medium sized businesses all the way up to some of the largest companies in the world. Um, we have 650 million users worldwide of our actual solutions and through our software development kits, we've accessed more than billions of people that have been able to use our solutions. Um, we have over 200 engineers, worldwide offices, um, and we're very, very customer focused. Uh, trusted by major companies, just wanted to kind of highlight some of the other organizations that, that we have worked with over the years. And that is pretty much it. I threw in a couple other slides here just uh, for others to take a look at if there are any other questions that we can review. Um, but I just wanted to kind of highlight that. Are there any questions that I can, can help to address at this point? All right. We've got a quiet audience. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it.